in my inner brain. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shelby and thanks so much for clicking on today's video. Um, I'm sure you've probably been able to tell by the title of the video today, but we're going to be jumping right into a vlog. However, I realized that I did not start the vlog at all. So I wanted to go ahead and say hi to you guys and welcome and thanks. So I also thought while um, I'm here, I would just share with you a couple of things that I've gotten recently. Um, I am in this video, it's a, a what am I trying to say? In this video, it is going to be a Barnes and Nobles vlog where I actually go to the Barnes and Nobles with my husband and my dad. Um, but I did not pick up really anything there. I didn't pick up any books. Anyways, I actually really wanted to just get my dad outside of the house because unfortunately my stepmom had passed um, in January of this year. So because of that, I just am trying to spend a lot more time with my dad and make sure he gets out the house. So took him to Barnes and Nobles because my dad and I actually really, really love reading books. Um, I can remember ever since I was a little kid, we would always read books together. And then we found a love of going to Barnes and Nobles together, which we used to do quite a lot when I used to live at home. Um, so it was nice to just kind of get back to that. But I figured before I would share those clips with you guys, I would just show you some things that I did get. Now I did get um, a book series that I've been dying to get for quite some time now. It's actually looking on Amazon to buy the complete like book set. Um, but then I went to the thrift store a couple of weeks ago. Thanks to Anthony, he took me. I've never been to the thrift store before and it was like, <sighs> amazing honestly i found so much stuff there and it was so cheap like i bought quite a few um different articles of clothing and then this entire book set and it was only like 44 dollars, which is crazy to me um each one of these books is probably like two dollars something along those lines but anyways let me get to the books so i got the completed set of the chronicles of narnia which i was I'm really, really looking forward to getting this. I've always loved this series. Um, and it's just going to be nice to be able to read that again. So now I own it and have it for myself. And I'm so happy. What's crazy as well is it looks like this person never even read these books. And if they did, they took very, very good care of it. So I really appreciate that. Um, I have started the first book. I am being a bit of an overachiever right now. I haven't gotten too far into this book. As you can see, I'm only on chapter like three, almost to chapter four. Chapters are very short, but I am reading like four books at a time right now. And I think I'm going to have to put some of them on the back burner. Um, let me actually see. So I'm reading the first book of Chronicles of Narnia. I'm also reading um, Powerless by is it by Lauren Roberts and then I'm also reading romantic comedy by Curtis Sittenfeld and I did start the wishing game as well but I think that one I'm probably gonna put a pause on I'm really interested in that but I think I'm just not quite in the mood for that yet um so we'll see that might be more of like a fall read maybe i'll get to it in the spring we'll see how it goes but i i get i got this book off of libby so i think i'm gonna return it so that somebody else can read it because it looks like there's quite a lot of people that are waiting for it so yeah um and i need to stop being an overachiever and just read a book this i know is going to be really easy to fly through and it's very very short um it's quite a small book I'm going to open it up so you can see a little bit. But yeah, as I said, it looks like no one even like read <laughs> this book. One of my favorite things about books like this, for one, I love how these pages feel. They're so like glossy. Um, but I love the size of the text. The text here is so nice and big, easy to read. It's really nicely spaced out. So it makes like 
it makes you feel like you're getting through the book a lot faster because you're just flying through the pages. Um, and then there's also little illustrations, which this always makes me so happy. I have, um, I started collecting the Harry Potter graphic, not graphic novels, but the illustrated versions of the books. Um, I've only got the first three because that was a box set, but I just love looking at the illustrations. It just makes reading the books so much more, more entertaining and different and enticing. So I'm really nice. I'm really happy to see that these are illustrated. Um, but yeah, so I think this will be probably the first book that I finish. Either that or Powerless. I'm not sure. But enough of that. So the other thing that I got as well was a puzzle from Barnes and Nobles. And I actually got this idea from Haley Pham. If you don't know her, she's an amazing YouTuber. I love her videos. She doesn't just do booktube videos. Um, but a lot of her books or a lot of her videos are based around reading and books and reviews and all that good kind of stuff. And I've always found her book taste to be quite similar to mine. So I take her recommendations very highly. So yeah, if you haven't checked her guys, if you haven't checked her out, I will link her down below for you guys to check her out as well. Cause she's really, really awesome. Send her some love, but she had done a video and in that video she had kind of talked about um building the new yorker puzzles and how she was putting mod podge on them and framing them in her house and i thought that that was such a clever idea and i've always kind of wondered what you do with a puzzle after you've built it because you don't want to just like put it back in the box um so i think that's just a neat like way to kind of get different types of artwork in your house so i actually got a New Yorker puzzle. This one is titled The Bookstore. Of course, how fitting. And it's so fun and colorful. And I'm just, I'm so happy about it. But yeah, I only have gotten the New Yorker part done thus far. I started it Sunday. So it's Tuesday now, so two days ago. So hopefully today I can get a bit more done with it, but I will insert a clip of how much I have done thus far. So this is the current state of the puzzle. This is about all that I've done thus far. Got majority of this done on Sunday when I started putting it together because I was waiting for this puzzle mat um, to arrive. But yeah, but yeah, let's go ahead and kick things off and get into the vlog. <laughs> Hi, we're here at Barney and Nobles. <laughs> Say hi to the YouTube. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> oh, wait, it's fixing it. Double recording. Actually, I haven't started recording. Oh, yet. well. I books that I really did not enjoy last year this guy right here I just couldn't get with the ending 
Oh well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you guys like vlogs, let me know. Um, and then also be sure to check out my vlogging channel. But stay tuned for my next video and I will see you guys then. Take care. Bye-bye.